What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be filming a chatty get ready with me and to be honest I don't really get ready like I honestly like never do anything to my hair and my makeup I don't ever wear makeup so I always feel like I didn't really know how to make these videos and I got eyelash extensions too which really like I literally just wake up and don't do anything with myself. I look like a hot mess 99% of the time but I noticed that these videos started to become one of my favorite ones to watch on YouTube. I was really interested in it and I was like oh it's such a cool idea. So last night on Instagram I asked you guys to ask me a few questions that I could answer while I do this chatty get ready with me. Hi guys, so I am wanting to do a chatty get ready with me video. I'm gonna put on a full face of makeup and I never do that. So I'm gonna do it for Vlogmas because I need some content. <laughs> right now I have no makeup on. I think I might use this little like side screen on my camera to like apply my makeup. You can see I'm missing so many eyelashes right here. I'm waiting for my eyelash lady to get back from vacation. <sighs> don't make fun of me, okay? I am not a beauty guru. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, first question is thoughts on intermittent fasting. So I actually did a video on intermittent fasting. I got my beauty blender and right now I'm using um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I don't really know. It says um, A18 and C15. Okay, so thoughts on intermittent fasting. I feel like just um, a lot of people try to complicate diets and it can get really tricky because instead of just like focusing on eating healthy, you're like focusing on trying to do a certain diet and then you're beating yourself up if you can't do that diet. I don't know, like I, I did really like intermittent fasting. I don't feel like I followed it correctly and I didn't do enough research because um, I was still having like my coffee in the morning and then eating at like noon or whatever, but I know that's not technically intermittent fasting. I don't know, like I feel like for me, I could do it if I wasn't so lazy and like actually put effort into it. I could do intermittent fasting because I don't really get hungry until around like noon. Um, I think I normally, eat around like 11 or noon um but the one thing that screws me up is i don't know if i can just drink water until 11 or noon like i think i need some coffee to get me going you know what i'm saying coffee's life so that's the only thing i don't know if i could do is like the coffee part but like my thoughts on it i think just like do a diet that's gonna make you successful whether that be macros intermittent fasting intuitive eating um just trying to eat healthy like i feel like a lot of people try to overcomplicate it like i said before just do whatever is going to make you eat healthier and make this a lifestyle rather than just like trying to follow a diet and then quitting it and then going back to eating pizza every single day you know what i'm saying okay next question how to lose belly fat if that's where a good chunk of your body fat is so Girl, you are not alone. I honestly carry a lot of my fat in my belly too, especially my lower belly. Like, it's so hard to get rid of that. Um, I think what's like made me successful in that is honestly diet. And as much as that sucks to say, um, diet is going to play a big role in your lower belly fat. Um, and honestly, in your whole journey, eating healthy is like 80% of it and working out's the 20%. Like so many people think that it's hard to work out and that's not the hard part. Um, the hard part is eating healthy and like trying to keep up with the healthy decisions, especially like nowadays because you have like Chick-fil-A, you got In-N-Out, you have Chipotle. Chipotle is not that bad for you, but you know what I mean? Like you have so many like um, convenient unhealthy foods rather than convenient healthy foods. So no, definitely diet sucks. I wish it was like, oh, you can just do this workout and it'll all go away forever. But that's not how it works, unfortunately. Okay, next question is, how do you and Cody maintain such a great relationship? So, like all relationships, ours is not perfect. We do fight. We do get on each other's nerves almost all the time. We bicker a lot. Um, but I think the one thing with Cody and I is, like, we met when we were so young, and we, like, genuinely became friends before we started dating, and I, I really liked him as a person. Um, and then, like, the romantic part came into it, obviously. But I think the way that we've kept up is, like, we've kind of, like, grown together as we've gotten older and we've always really done a good job at communicating with each other like we don't put things um i heard someone say on a podcast the other day that like they're they had like a vault like a mental vault with their um spouse and that's definitely not good to have so like something that cody and i always try to do is to really communicate with each other um if like something's bugging me like he's gonna know about it like if he leaves his socks on the floor or leaves a cabinet out like i'm gonna say something and like something as stupid as that um really helps you keep that balance in your relationship and keeps you from putting things away and like not communicating about them i think another thing is like we have so much fun together you guys like we genuinely like love being around each other like it's so much fun and we laugh all the time like i think that if your relationship's too serious it can get boring and honestly i don't even know how you could be in a relationship where it's too serious because like my 
um, one of my favorite things about Cody is how funny he is. Like, it's just like, he cracks me up on a daily basis and it's really fun. I just think really um, loving that person and caring about them genuinely as a person and then um, like supporting each other. Like we've always done a really good job with supporting each other's dreams. Like when I told him I wanted to get into fitness, he was super supportive and always helped me along the way. Um, and I've always supported him with his video career and whatever he wanted to do, I was like, yeah. Like I've always been like the little psychic right next to him. Like, let's do this, let's figure this out, we can do this. So. I think just supporting each other, communication, having fun, loving each other, really respecting the other person. But again, we do fight. Don't think that we don't fight. We definitely have our ups and downs. But overall, I am so grateful for our relationship. It's something that I never thought I would have in my life. And it's something that I cherish so much. And I just, you know, I love him. Okay, I need to stop because he's probably gonna watch this video and be like, you're lame, blah, blah, blah. Um, where did you get your espresso machine? Oh my God, I'm so happy someone asked this because I love my espresso machine. I actually got it off Amazon. It's the Breville and it's like, it is $600, you guys, but it is so worth it. I don't go and get coffee as much as I used to. I'll um, link it in the description box if you wanna check it out. It's not sponsored or anything. I just want everyone to know how amazing this coffee machine is. Okay, so I'm just gonna use, I just honestly have this like little sample, like um, bronzer, I guess you can call it. I'm just gonna take this little brush and kind of contour my face a little bit. Okay, so next question is, do you think you'll ever move out of California? If yes, where? You know what? I don't know if I could ever move out of California. I've been traveling a lot recently and it's just been really making me appreciate where I live. So it's hard, <laughs> it's like a hard question to answer right now because right now I'm like, no, I'm not moving out of California. I love it too much. Um, because I've been to Hawaii where there was bugs, a bunch of bugs, really humid. New York, too cold for me. Um, San Antonio, I just kind of was like, mm, not a big fan. Oh, and mosquitoes in San Antonio. I don't know, like, I love being by the beach. The beach is like my favorite place in the whole world. So I feel like if I were to ever move out of California, which I highly doubt that I would, I'd probably move to Hawaii, to Maui, where we went um, on vacation in August. Um, because that is somewhere that is, reminds me kind of of California. Um, but... It's, I don't know, it's still not the same as home, but you know, I think I think if I were to move out of California, it'd probably be Maui. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like putting this a little bit on my face. Okay, next question is how many days a week do you work out? So I work out five days max, um, and that's only because rest days are so important. So I always give myself at least two rest days during the week. So um, five days a week I work out. I also do cardio five times a week, and that's either before or after my workouts for 20 to 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take this little like sample blush too. These are all from Lancome if you guys are curious. This one's called Blush Subtil. Um, go to hair products. So I am currently using Pureology for my shampoo and conditioner. And you know what? I really like that one a lot because the shampoo is like, um, like a lavender um, smell. So it like feels really good on your hair and it smells really good. So I really like that one. So next up, I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look at me, I'm a beauty guru. Falling into you, babe. Um, okay, so I wanna do something kind of like natural because I'm gonna go to the gym and stuff today and I think I'm gonna be home all day besides the gym, so <laughs> I'll go wear a full face and makeup to the gym, you know what I'm saying? Normally what I do with my eyeshadow is I like to start with like a light um, color, so I'm gonna use this one right here, and I'm just gonna kind of cover my lid with that one. Um, let me find a new question while I do that. Okay, face skincare. So if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I have been using Tula. Um, and I really, really like Tula. I feel like it's something that's really helped my skin clear up. Um, I am breaking out a little bit like on the side of my face right here, but I just got off my um, period, you know? So so I have a discount code with them too. If you want to use it, you save like 20%. You don't have to. Um, but I, I use like three products. I use like the purifying face cleanser in the morning and then morning and night. And then I use like the acne tone correcting gel right after. And then my last step is like that aqua infusion gel cream. It's like a moisturizer and oh my god it feels so good and hydrating on your face let me tell you okay if we ordered active wear during your black friday sale when should we be expecting it okay so um if you ordered from the brianna k collection that i released on black friday all orders are going to be shipping on or around december 15th i'm going to do a full um try on haul on youtube i think i'm gonna do it on instagram too because these pieces are so cute and i'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on them like oh my god 
I can't, I can't wait. It's so exciting. When did you start your business and where did you learn how to edit videos? So I started my business in August of 2017. Um, but that was honestly where it kind of just like released my first guide. It wasn't necessarily a business yet. I feel like this year, 2018 has been where I've really implemented the business. This year is when I first hired my customer service girl, which is my BFF Kayla. Um, so she started with me in April and I feel like after April it really took off. I think that was just because like I was trying to do everything by myself for so long and then I had someone to help me and then after that like working with people um, is so good for a business. Like when you bring other people in that have certain strengths and um, are better at certain things than you are then wow it is like a game changer. So I am so grateful for Kayla. I swear like a lot of the reason my business grew is because of her and I am so grateful. How did I learn how to edit videos? My boyfriend aka Cody he has been editing videos since he was like a little kid and he always edited videos even before I was in fitness and so I always was like around it and and watched him do it and then um so he basically taught me everything. I'm gonna use this one right here this red I don't even know what the name is but I'm gonna use this one right here. Um, like on my my uh, crease. Do you think you'll ever hold workout classes? Love you. I love YouTube girl um, You know what? I don't know. I I've really always wanted to do a, like a Brianna K meetup um, but that'd probably be I don't know when but um, If I did a Brianna K meetup, I definitely would have a workout where we can all like uh, work out together and bring our yoga mats and all of that good stuff um but yeah i mean i would definitely like to host a workout class i just don't know like where or how but um i think i would do a meetup maybe one day and you know have a workout <laughs> i really like this question it says where do you think you would be now if you hadn't started your fitness journey when you did you know i read that question last night before um i was gonna film this and i was like you know what i don't know but that was like such a crazy thing to think about i think i'm gonna do my makeup like on this thing because i'm struggling um, but that is like honestly a really crazy thing to think about because my life is so different now because of fitness like everything about it like financially mentally physically um, I think that if I didn't start my fitness journey back then I was okay with um, Just like working a normal job, which that's nothing's wrong with that, but I'd probably still be working maybe as a waitress um, maybe working like a like a full-time office job, you know, it's hard to say and I probably I definitely would be overweight still because you know I wouldn't have started my fitness journey and I was overweight at that time um so you know I think that's I think that's really what I would be doing I don't I don't even know I'm just so grateful that I did start my fitness journey because <sighs> that would be crazy I don't know I don't even know my life would be so different I don't even know okay next question is how did you and Cody meet there's a lot of questions about Cody there's a few that I'm not answering because I get them all the time <clears throat> marriage. Um, how did me and Cody meet? Okay, so why am I doing it there? I'm gonna do it here. Okay, so Cody and I met when we were 15 years old at a high school that we went to together. Um, and he came up to me and he just like came up to me with so much confidence and was just like, um, I don't even know exactly what he first said to me. I just know he like first came up to me and like he was eating like a muffin and like we were like joking around with each other and like threw a muffin at me and I don't know what it was like <laughs> it sounds so weird because like that's what made me like him I think what made me like him was like the confidence because like a lot of guys in high school were kind of lame back then like they'd be like oh my god like you're so pretty oh my god I want to I want to go here or do this with you and I was just like mm. and then Cody was just so different and I really liked that about him like he treated me like a person too and I I really appreciated that because I don't know and just it was like a nice change of pace and he was very uh confident when i first met him and i think that's like still what i liked him to this like about him to this day is he's very confident and i don't know i like that in someone the confidence and the funniness i was like mm -hmm, yep <laughs> you're gonna be my boyfriend okay next question is did you know when starting your journey that you were going to sell apparel no. When I first started my journey, I didn't think it was going to be a business. I didn't think I'd make money off it. I didn't think I'd get an Instagram following or YouTube subscribers. I honestly just started my journey to help myself and I made a page to just kind of keep me accountable. I didn't know that fitness pages existed when I first started. I didn't follow any. Um, as the time went on, I did have like a fascination with apparel and clothing and I think for about two years now, it has been a big dream of mine. But like the first year getting into fitness, like I didn't know. Um, but yeah, like I, I definitely, um, a few years ago, like had a feeling like, yeah, apparel is something I'll eventually do, hopefully if I am able to do it. Um, but I didn't think it would be this early on. I don't know, like I was going to start getting older and have a family and stuff. And I thought like, oh, like, yeah, apparel would be so cool. But 
I just kind of pulled the plug and took a big risk and just launched it now and it did so well that now it's going to be something that is just going to be a thing now so I'm really excited and I'm saying this first but we're going to have a new launch in January with a bunch of new pieces so I'm so excited I'll be announcing what they're going to be shortly but yeah so we're definitely going to have launches from now on like every couple months with new products and I am just so excited and I can't believe it's happening this early on but no it was not a plan when I first started working out okay so I think I'm just going to kind of like that's really all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow so I started talking got ahead of myself so I used um I used this white one right here and then I moved into this red one and then I kind of came in and took some dark pieces from this one right here. I'm gonna look so ridiculous, okay? I just use like this like little eyeshadow palette. I've been using this forever, obviously. Um, but I'm just gonna take some of this like brown right here, this one, and I'm just gonna like fill it in with like this little pencil thing. I don't really fill in my eyebrows too much. They're kind of like already thick, I guess you could say. So I just like barely fill them in. I'm gonna put some mascara on and then we're gonna call it a day. Next question is, did you go to college? So I did go to college. I did not finish or anything like that. Um, I went to community college and in the beginning I was just doing like general ed classes. Let's see if I can do this without. You know what, I'm gonna do it like this actually, change my mind. In the beginning it was just general ed classes. Like I wasn't going for anything specific. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I kind of just went and just took classes. Um, I took like psychology, math, English, um, few other things um and then I took a break from college for a while started doing the fitness thing and I was like oh I would like to go to college and like learn some more stuff about fitness or whatever um so I took a kinesiology class and I took a few nutrition classes and that was a few years ago I finished that semester and then I haven't gone back so okay guys so this is it this is what I did um I'm trying to show you guys like a better view so just something simple it was pretty quick it took me about like 20 minutes my hair i'm probably just gonna you know probably just take it down and just wear it like my natural hair it's like a nice little natural makeup look that's i'm all about the natural makeup look you know what i'm saying but that's gonna do it for this get ready with me i hope you guys liked it if you want more get ready's with me please give this video a big old thumbs up and while you're at it don't forget to hit that subscribe button i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will Catch ya in the next one. Bye. Bam.